Hey YouTube, back again with another video. In this video, we're gonna go over how seamless Navigate on Autopilot is able to take a highway exit. But first, I wanna let you guys know, with Tesla's new ordering process, you can simply follow the link down in the description and order your Model S, 3, or X in under a minute. So before this video is over, you can actually have yours on the way. So if you use my link down in the description, you're actually gonna get a thousand miles of free supercharging, as you can see there. And you can go in and design your Model 3 right from your phone. Now with Autopilot included, that standard range plus is a phenomenal deal. All right, let's get back to the video. So as we approach this exit, Navigate on Autopilot is gonna position itself in the right-hand lane. So you're gonna see that done by this automatic lane change right here. So it's gonna turn the turn signal on and get over knowing that that right lane is clear. So this is incredible. And if you haven't seen this before, make sure you know that there is no driver input to make this change. The only thing I did as a driver is put in my destination. Okay, so we're coming up here on the exit. And so this is a two lane exit going to the right. And so the autopilot has decided to be in the right hand lane even though it could be in the right or the left hand lane. So I manually slowed down the maximum speed just a little bit, but then you can see that the autopilot, when it's approaching this turn, slows down the maximum speed significantly. So me as the driver would like to see that autopilot slow down just a little bit earlier. This navigator on autopilot is able to drive on this curvy exit with ease. You can see again the road is going to curve to the right here and it's easily able to take this. The max speed is slowed down by the car and then if you notice right here the max speed is starting to increase because the autopilot knows that the road is starting to straighten out and the max speed goes back up. I've been really impressed with this latest update. I'm running 2019.8.5 and this update is a huge improvement over the last update. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.